Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fat Buddha Fitness. I am Chester Monkey Magic and this here is Hunky Homesy and we are on what we believe will be an eight hour hike up in the Alps in the Haute Savoie. We started off uh, about an hour and ten minutes ago, 750 meters vertically further down at 1320 meters at a place called Le Grand Nave and we're heading on up to the Col de Genesis, which is, uh, well, over there there's a sign that says it's about an hour and a half away from here. Um, we've come up to 2,080 meters, so 750 meters of vertical climbing. I believe we've done 4.8 kilometers in total in one hour and 10 minutes. So we're making great headway we're going at a great lick Holmes he's found a friend again as he always does always finds a furry friend out in the mountains just going to give you a view of what we've got here this is the uh, refuge there oh that's the old refuge uh, we've come from down there where that cyclist is coming up over there is a very peculiar modern refuge but very interestingly, they appear to be roasting a wild boar. Suckling pig or something like that. It's very tempting to stop and have some lunch. But, uh, well, we're going to carry on. Not up there. Ours tells us we're going off this way. So we shall check in later. Right, we've reached the Col de Genesis which is uh, more or less the highest point of the hike. We've come up to, it says, 2,358 meters. So we've cleared a thousand vertical meters since we started. And uh, so we've added on a good 250, 300 vertical meters since we were at the refuge Nantes de Beurre. There we go, that's the uh, signage there telling us we're at the Col de Genesis. Over there in the background, you've got La Plane, a very well known ski resort. And if we pan around, we're going up there instead. We should be heading over in that direction across some sort of shale ridge that should be quite hairy. And then down the other side, back down to uh, Grand Nave, which is where we started out. And hopefully, it won't be taking quite as long as the last time Hunky Holmesy and uh, his friend Kaiser Constantin took 10 hours to do this hike, but they did get lost at one point. I'm estimating safer carry on like this close to the There we go. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. Right, we've made it to this point now, ever so slightly higher than the last one. This is called the Cré du Boeuf. And where we're going to go now, if I can show you, I'll, I'll spin around this way so you can get a nice view there. That's all very lovely. Sun's not out at the moment, but that's fine. Hunky Holmes is coming from where we've just headed from. And we are now going to head off. There's the valley down there with that shining silvery rock or slate. But we're going to head off down here. And we're going to go along that ridge. You can see there's two little huts there on the left. We're going to stick to the ridge. But first of all, it's going off down here. Like that sort of winds its way around and there you can see we're going to be on the top with some fairly steep slopes down both sides. Hairy. What do you think about that Holmesy? I think what we find is what's missing this time that we had to contend with them last time and those things is an electric fence that was running with the ball pit across the ridge so I think it's going to be a damn sight easier. Oh. Well, that's not very fat, but a fitness if there's no electric fence. <laughs> Never mind. Hunky Honesy seemed to think this was going to be easy, but my God, 
It is steep. Whoops, that's me on my ass. Ugh. It's steep, as I was about to say, slippery. And down I went. It's got mud, shale. Goodness me. Oops, here I go again. Crikey. Well, I think that's the worst of it over. Let's see how Holmesy gets on. I ended up on my ass. Did you? Yeah. I'm glad we're not on a bike. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'd be going down that on a bike. <laughs> It might not have helped that I was holding a camera in one hand, but uh Yeah, that's pretty so <laughs> Almost the choice of going Suddenly, on the arse. Feel like I'm not wearing suitable footwear. Yeah. Well, okay. made it. Although it doesn't get too much better. Goodness me. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't slide off the edge. This bit right here, you're probably okay. There's a bit there though, that's got a gully. That wouldn't be a lot of fun. Shale gully. Crikey. Well, if you're gonna do a hike, you might as well make it interesting. So, there we go. All right, that's my shadow. That's what you've got off to this side, on this part of the path. And going back up there, this side's not too bad, it's got grass. Slip down there, you'll probably slow down pretty quick and grab hold of something. But this side, my god, look at that gully down there. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Ah. That's the, the test, uh, what's his name, Burnish was doing yesterday. Still going, Sunshine isn't it? Sunshine Superman. Sunshine Superman test. My God. Look at this path. Well, let's see how you get across this. I put the uh, camera away because that bit there was very scary. Yeah, I don't want, oh, yeah. Because you get to this bit, once you get off that, there's no actual path there. It's just get across that as quick as you can. Okay. Oh. Nicely done. Oops. Let's turn around without falling. <laughs> Well, here's the fence Ian was on about. Homesy, hunky Homesy, I should call him. Not sure how electric it is, but anyway, it does get in the way. So we've got to get down hands and knees and get underneath it. And then we can carry back on. And, uh, well, there we go. That was me getting through there. Homesy will be coming up to it very shortly. We'll see if he's got a more interesting technique to get through it. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, very easy. Very easy and casual. Yeah, we've got, uh, well, we're very happy got the uh, extra obstacle we were hoping for so uh, a bit of everything keep us entertained right we've come to a bit of an impasse we're not liking we need to get over there Homesy has set off and uh, he assures me last time he slid on his ass halfway down it. This time we are taking it nice and steady. As it's a lot less scary than the other option. 
which would have involved more or less rock climbing downhill and backwards downwards and uh, well oh, I'm also almost skiing down this oh hello is that the rescue plane coming to save us no no it's not we don't need saving right Holmes is making pretty good progress my progress is a touch slower yeah there we go <laughs> that's what we're worried about camera going away well after a fairly treacherous treacherous I should say hike somewhere along that ridge all the way from over there with uh, this kind of a ravine down below us we're taking the opportunity to have a well-earned sandwich break a bit of refueling and then well it's not going to be anywhere near as hard as it was earlier we're going off over there behind those two cabins over that peak down the other side which will take us somewhere back down into a valley over there it's been quite tough so far mm, I think we've earned our lunch definitely earned our lunch I've been going for a little more than three hours uh, 11.2 kilometers we're still up at 2200 meters it's a little bit up and down up and down all the way and uh, there's been some shale underfoot there's been some steep grassy banks been all sorts of challenges but we've made it this far and it's more or less downhill from now on in so we're going to keep on going once we're suitably refueled and enjoy the rest of it and uh, if when biting into your sandwich you close your eyes you can almost imagine that it's really a hog roast. No, not quite. Imagine getting caught in a sea of cattle. Not sure you can see them, but there's a couple of uh, hikers down there in amongst that lot they've just been swallowed up seems to go on forever anyway more to the point we've come a little bit of cropper and we are now going to attempt to scramble down there so we're going to go round there and then try and scramble down that one way or another well once you've committed to something you've basically just got to get on with it and hope for the best and as you can see I've come from well we we're up there Holmesy, hunky Holmesy is trying a different route but uh, I'm heading down into that gully there and it's a bit of a uh, uh, what they call quatre pattes in French four paws that's how we're doing it well that wasn't particularly clever a large part of that was not even done it on quatre pattes but it was done on my arse uh, that was very steep very unsure underfoot on my ass clutching onto bits of long grass Ian's got down as well took a slightly different route I'm sure you can see him there, I can't see anything myself uh, so we've both made it down but look, with that sort of stuff there you've got potential for falling rocks and bits of stone and shale coming off the mountain and although it's not so bad up there that was a bit of a dumb idea we 
we hopefully won't be doing that again. <clears throat> well, that wasn't particularly clever. A large part of that was not even done at, on quatre pattes, but it was done on my ass. Uh, that was very steep, very unsure underfoot. On my ass, clutching onto bits of long grass. Ian's got down as well, took a slightly different route. I'm sure you can see him there, I can't see anything myself. Uh, so, we've both made it down. But look, with that sort of stuff there, you've got potential for falling rocks and bits of stone and shale coming off the mountain. And although it's not so bad up there, that was a bit of a dumb idea. We hopefully won't be doing that again. <clears throat> right, we're six and a quarter hours into this trek and we've just come past a sign that says two hours to our destination, which frankly was a bit of a kick in the bollocks for the morale, I can tell you that. Anyway, road's heading back up, grassy path, so uh, ever so slightly slippery, but uh, well, we were briefly in the sun, which was nice. So it's just onwards and upwards, and let's get this thing done, because I am starting to wilt and flail and really start hallucinating about that first beer we're going to be having later on. Hunky Holmesy, on the other hand, looks as fresh as a daisy. I don't know about that, guys. <laughs> that beer's very, very... That's what's keeping me going, I think. Yep. Think of beer. It's the only thing you can do. Well, having come down to around about 1400 meters, we climbed back up to about 1700 and uh, we've now come back down again and uh, we're just coming back under 1600 and in fact we've come out of the uh, forest and now we're out into the open plain and we can actually see down there our destination and the village we started out at and in fact can actually make out there it is oops hang on let me hold it steady that is the vehicle we came up in oh i can't hold that steady at all what am i doing anyway there it is that gray one the van so it's been a bit of an epic trek but uh well we're very much on the final run in Bonjour. And uh, no idea if uh, are they going the right way? No, this looks right. So uh, there we go. Almost done and dusted, and very much looking forward to what's it called? Shea who? I'm calling it Shea Fred. Shea Fred. We're looking forward to seeing if Shea Fred is open and we'll be able to get a lovely cold one and a well-deserved one because by the time we get down there I'm pretty sure it'll have been more than seven hours of hiking.